Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, hopefully you can hear me right. I've got my microphone on, so hopefully it's... The wind isn't too bad here today, um, in Taipei. And I'm at the Shanghai Ship Memorial Hall, at the gardens, and it's really nice. So what's this video about? Well, hopefully the, uh, the title is going to give you a clue. Songs I listen to when I'm riding. It's not, not my favourite songs, but probably my most played when I listen to them um, so I'm going to do two parts I'm going to do five Kingfisher my second Kingfisher I've ever seen that's cute I like that. so nice I saw one last week and now I've seen one again and it's just really nice to see them I don't, I'm so happy anyway getting back onto this um, yeah I'm going to talk about the music I like so let's start so I'm I can't play any of the songs, um, but I'm going to stick the album covers on here, talk about them, and I'm going to give you all the information or the a link to the songs down below. So the first one is a, a German electronic rock band. I say that and everyone's going to think, ah, Rammstein. Well, yeah, it is. It's Rammstein. So... This song came out in 1997. I can't speak German, so uh, it's on the Sensucht album. Uh, and the song is called Du Hast. Basically, it's about marriage. And Du Hast means a yearning, wishful, uh, wishful thinking. And Du Hast means to have, or you have you hate so kind of double meanings so about marriage um you have me um and you hate me you're gonna marry me i i love you but i hate you i'm gonna marry you kind of it, it's weird but it's a great song so check that one out it's uh it's all in german but it, it's quite a, it, it's just, just kind of a look so there's that's the album cover Kingfisher again it's oh, it's really cool uh, yeah the second one I want to talk about is one of my I love this band um, it's Fleetwood Mac sort of a American English band and I want to talk about a song from their Rumours album uh, 1977 there's only five what is it the year Star Wars came out the first Star Wars Anyway, the chain, uh, the iconic bass line, which was used for the Formula One Grand Prix. Um, 1978, they started doing that. And then the, the ITV got hold of the license. They changed it. They put a different song on. So then when the BBC took it over, um... So yeah, ITV took it over in 1997. The BBC retook it over, the licensing, back in, I've got the notes, 2009. They then used the chain again. Now, sadly, they don't. It's chain hand again, so it's not the chain. Um, but that's basically, the, the bass line is just so iconic. It's just, well, I love it. The whole song, actually. But, uh, if it wasn't for all the the copyright infringements and everything, that I would use that as my as my theme tune. Um, the chain being obviously the motorbike chain, it just just sounds so cool. And use that bass line. So I'm just watching the egret go past me and the kingfisher right in front of me. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's lovely here. Come down, Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall. Yeah. <laughs> Going off key, I know. Okay, so the third song I want to talk about in this little this clip is taken from the Violator album of Depeche Mode so back in 1990 so again there's the uh, the album cover and it's Personal Jesus I mean there's quite a few uh, I think all the albums I've mentioned so far there are some good tracks on there not just the ones I've mentioned there's plenty of other good tracks but uh, yeah, Personal Jesus, electronic music band from the from the UK. 
only reached number 13 in the UK charts. Um, shame, really. It's such a good song. So it's been covered by Johnny Cash back in 19, uh, 19, 2002 and Marilyn Manson in 2004. I do prefer the Depeche Mode version. I do have to say. So that's, that's my own personal personal favourite on that one. Depeche Mode version. Now this one is... He's only a young kid. He's a very, very young lad. His name's Ben Wood. He's from England. A little place in Essex. And this one is 2002. And it's called Someone Instead. Now there was a girl who done this. A uh, girl called Holly. I forget her name now. Um... can't think of an last name but she was on Britain's Got Talent something like that one of those things and the song can actually be found on most platforms so if you type in someone instead Ben Wood it will come up with Holly's name it might just come to me in a little bit uh, you'll find it and it really is it's a great little track he's also done a couple of others since that he's done one called Coffee which has got really big he was in a competition as well with uh, a big DJ kind of thing, done a remix, and he won that. So that's given him a kind of a little bit of international fame as well. So he's getting big. So go follow Ben Wood on Spotify, uh, YouTube. What's the other one? Anything. Or the music platforms, basically. Go and find him. So he is getting a name for himself. Um, check out this one someone instead and check out coffee and the new one i can't remember what it's called just come out but it's it's fantastic go and check them out anyway okay this one can be slightly controversial so it's the last one i'm going to do for this little clip um back in 1986 south africa and everything with the, the apartheid going on paul simon decided he was going to go against everything and released this Graceland's album. So many great songs on there. Africa, uh, Ladysmith, Black Mambazo, um, done a lot of it with him. And I've seen them live as well. They're great, Paul Simon's live. Um, but this one is Homeless. Uh, the Homeless, he received criticism because of all the, uh, the cultural boycott of South Africa. But he still went away. So still to this day, the whole album and everything is very controversial. Um, but it's a great album. Go and listen to it. There's the, uh, the cover. The Boy Near Bubble, Call Me Out. There's so many great tracks on there. Um, go and have a listen. But Homeless is my choice from this one. All the links for those songs are in the comment or in the, uh, the section below. So go check them out. Tell me what you think. Um, do you have a favourite song from one of those albums? Um, what is your favourite song from the artist that I've mentioned that's not on that album? You know, it might be a different album, different song by that artist. What is yours? And of course, where are you from? Uh, as you can tell, there's all kind of different genres on there. So uh, if you like this one, you like the music, Go and check out part two. Part two is a little bit different. Um, no? Yeah, it is. Part two is a little bit different. So go and check that one out as well. But uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment. Um, don't forget. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.